So I'm here today at the Green Festival. This is the second annual Green Festival here at the Seattle uh, Convention Center, uh, where there are both uh, talks and exhibitions going on, and then there's an exhibition hall full of products and causes that people get a chance to uh, uh, learn about. I had a chance last year to welcome people to the first uh, ever. It, it, these Green Festivals now are taking place in, I think it's four cities and about to expand to Denver uh, as the fifth city. We've been amongst the leaders uh, uh, in the nation in terms of recognizing the uh, peril uh, that is uh, posed by climate change and we've been seen as a leader uh, by cities across the country in dealing with that. So uh, it's great to see how many people are taking that concept, that idea, and then trying to turn it into products and turn it into uh, concrete ideas that people can adopt in their own lives and their homes and their businesses. And uh, so it's great to see people inside the convention center on a kind of a rainy Saturday uh, afternoon uh, in Seattle, uh, but they're thinking green. I had a chance uh, last year to welcome people, and uh, again this year, to talk a little bit about what we're doing in Seattle, to uh, kind of walk the talk on the environment, walk the talk on preventing climate change, and also to introduce a good friend of mine, uh, Jerome Ringo. Jerome is from the New Orleans area. He uh, used to be the chair of the National Wildlife Foundation uh, board, but he currently is president of the Apollo Alliance, which is trying to figure out how we take the challenge that we face with climate change and turn it into economic opportunity for people in our country. One of the things that we've done in Seattle is uh, we've gone about this very deliberately, very purposefully. We started by having the city government lead by example, show that we could reduce our carbon footprint and still be able to uh, serve the people effectively. We then engaged the civic leadership, business leadership, uh, environmental leadership in the city to come up with a plan. And today we have a campaign, literally a campaign going called Seattle Climate Action Now. People can go to our website, Seattle. CAN.org uh, and figure out what you can do in your own home, in your business, in your neighborhood to reduce your carbon footprint and provide an example for the rest of the country. Thank you all for listening. It's a great pleasure to welcome you and greet you from the Seattle Green Festival, and I hope to see you here next year. We are the light, we are the future And this world keeps turning